Community School. I'm Jack. And I'm Ginger. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Bringing Me Community Central. Today is Friday, February 10th, and the Eagles Super Bowl theme day. Please stand us and join for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'd like to wish a happy birthday to Arabella Kialis Teal, who celebrates her birthday today. Happy birthday to Emily McGuire, who celebrates their birthday on Super Bowl Sunday. The official online school store for all your school spirit apparel needs is launched and is now open. You can choose from hundreds of designs and garments that will be delivered directly to your door. This store will help fundraise for our amazing Stokes trip. From now until February 13th, there is a grand opening sale of 25% 20, off site-wide using code SPIRIT217. Let us show our bringing the community's pride and raise money for an amazing trip. You can find more information on class data. A fun reminder that Monday is the 100th day of school. Hey JJ, what's on the menu for lunch? Today, our cafeteria staff is serving up primo pizza, hot dogs, and a side of salad and food. Before we sign off, we would like to leave you with the quote of the week. Joy Page once said, dream and give yourself permission to envision a you that you choose to be. Stay tuned for the 8th grade and Flex Class Friday special. I'm Juju. And I'm Jack. And this has been another episode of BCC. Have a great day. Now to our daily weather report. Take it away, Bob Mack. Good morning, Brooklyn Teen Scholars and staff. Happy Friday, everyone. Today will be intervals of clouds and the sunshine with high temperatures around 55 degrees with winds west at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Higher wind gusts are possible. Tonight will be cloudy early with partial clearing expected late with low temperatures around 35 degrees with winds northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Today, the sun came up at 6.56 and sets at 5.28. This is your meteorologist, Bob Mack, signing off. Have a great day. Hello, Brigantine scholars and staff. Welcome to the fifth episode of the Cosmic Chronicles with your astronomer Wyatt O'Brien and today I have a very interesting fact for you all did you know that there are more trees on earth than there are stars in the Milky Way How do you organize a party in space? You plan it. Thank you for being here, and I hope you have a very great Friday. Hey, BCC scholars, let's go to a walk in the local Lost and Found. See if there's any lunch boxes you might recognize. Wow, a T Rex. Getting cold outside. Hopefully, you didn't lose your favorite hat. I like this one. Hopefully, no one claims it. This pig hoodie says always right, and that's right, because I'm always right. Does anybody recognize this black sweater? Who recognizes this black sweater? This is the best, and I love it. Whoop. Do. Who loves sharks? This probably belongs to a shark lover. Does anyone recognize this purple shirt? It looks great. One, I have the around. same hoodie. I think it belongs to a middle schooler. This hoodie is so neon, it makes my eyes burn. I, someone must be looking for this one. Who lost this orange Nike sweatshirt? It would be great to wear it at Flyers game. What does this sweatshirt say? It's very pretty. Whose sweatshirt is this? It would be great to wear it at Buccaneers game. Woo-hoo! 
I love this black hoodie. Does anybody recognize it? I love this black hoodie. I, I messed up. <laughs> Whose hoodie is this? It's I love kid. this lifeguard hoodie. I happen to have the same one. This is green like a lime and I want to eat it. Does anybody recognize this black hoodie? Whose old, whose old navy sweatshirt is this? I really love it. Does anyone recognize this black and white hoodie? Wow, this hoodie from Simply Styled. Look how nice. I think I know who lost this. If you lost that, you better go look for it. What about this Adidas sweatshirt? Anybody recognize it? I think mom definitely would like it back home. I think I know who this is. Please get it or I'll keep it. Look at this orange and yellow sweatshirt. I hope someone claims it. Does anybody recognize this Adidas hoodie? This makes my eyes wanna drop. Whoever is this, better go and look for it. I love this one myself. Make a difference every day. Look at this navy blue sweatshirt. I hope someone claims it. Is this anybody's sweatshirt? Because I love it. Two. This Volcom sweatshirt is dirty. Once you find it, make sure to wash it. Does anybody recognize this North Face hoodie? These are worth a lot. Does anyone recognize this black sweatshirt? I like it a lot. This is from Valentine's. You guys should wear this from Valentine's and Betty. I got this feeling. Inside my bones, it goes electric, wavy when I turn it on. All from my city, all from my home. We're flying up, no ceiling when we in our zone. I got that sunshine in my pocket, got that good soul in my feet. I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. Ooh, I can't take my eyes off of it, moving so phenomenally. Come on, like the way we rock. So don't stop And under the lights when everything goes Nowhere to hide when I'm getting you close When we move, well you already know So just imagine Nothing I can see but you when you dance
my cup, put some nigga in it. Take a sip, sign the check. Julio, get the stretch. Right to Harlem, Hollywood, Jackson, Mississippi. If we show up, we gon' show up. Smoother than a fresh drop, skip it. I'm too hot. Hot damn. Call the police and the firemen. I'm too hot. Hot Make a dragon ball. BC Sears. I'm Leo Foster. Welcome back to, to another episode of Hooked on Books. So BC Sears. Today I am here with Ava Casamento. So Ava Casamento, please tell me, what book are you, are you here to represent with, with us today? Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter. Ooh, I love that series. This book especially is really good. Not one of my favorites, but it's really good. So if you saw somebody in like your classroom library um, about to read this book, would you tell them to read it or would you discourage them? I would tell them to read it. Why? There's a lot of problems other than the main problem. Hmm, interesting. So, what what is your favorite part of this story? When Harry and Ron fly into the Whomping Willow with the car. Oh, that's so memorable. I remember seeing that in the movie. Have you watched the movie before? Yes. What do you think's better, the movie or the book? The book is always better. I agree. Same with War of the Rings. I recommend you all read that as well. Thank you so much. And before we before we sign off, I would like to ask you one more question. Is that okay with you? Yes. What age group would you um, recommend this book to? Third through eighth grade. Okay, thank you so much for being on Hooked on Books. And we'll see you all next time. Today's fit check for Twin Day. Let's see it. Okay, so first we have our matching Vikings. Okay, okay. Uh, long sleeves. 